it too much and too late. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? This is uh, Najee from Cigar Talk. Um, I interviewed Shakur Stevenson uh, this week after his fight. You actually retweeted it. Um, he said that he felt like you were the best promoter. Um, obviously, I saw him here. You guys were sitting next to each other. Um, what kind of things, I guess, can you say to him as far as, you know, uh, courting him or just trying to bring him over to match room, like things that uh, uh, um, make sense? I think that Shakur is fighting uh, a one-man war with the boxing uh, community and world and it's quite draining to be honest with you like he's a young man so he's got appetite for it and a fight for it but really there's no megaphone there's no machine like i know you know for a fact that the gate last week was very good very strong in nook didn't sell as many tickets as tonight but it was a very good gate and we know that espn recorded their biggest rating of 2024 but no one's really talking about that because no one wants to because he's left, you know. So I don't really have to pitch too much. I think if we can deliver the fights, he will 100% sign with us. I don't, I don't think that's that's the question. I just think that he has to look at the fluidity of whatever deal he does to make sure that he's not restricted in terms of the fights that he needs to take for his career and his legacy. Because the fights that he's been in, the last two or three fights, listen, he's on great money. But you're not seeing the best of Shakur Stevenson because you're only going to see the best against, you know, Zapeda or against Lomachenko or against Tank or against, I don't know, Pitbull if he moves to 140 or Para or, you know, these kind of fights. So um, I really like him. I said to him tonight, I've been promoting him for probably the last two years for free. And I'll continue to, to be honest with you. And I think he's outstanding. I think he's a brilliant fighter. Brilliant. Cool. Last couple guys and then. Jeff, 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 hit first boxing right here. Dio, uh, Dio Pacheco. Still got the jacket on, Jeff. Yes, sir. Good man. <laughs> Dio Pacheco, he's fighting Maciej Sulenski in yeah. Los Angeles. Another venue. How many people fit in that venue right there? Yeah, that's uh, probably, I mean, this is a great venue. Dignity Health, a.k.a. StubHub, that I knew, is probably my favorite venue in America for boxing, the war grounds. It only holds, I think, 5,000, 6,000, something like that. It is such a great venue. I mean, so much so, Kel Brook beat Sean Porter there many years ago. It's one of my greatest nights. And uh, open air, we, we believe we'll fill that up. We need your help with the Polish community in Los Angeles, of course. But Pacheco is a great fighter. You know, it's, it's been difficult to find the right opponent for him. I'm pleased with Sulecki. Uh, I think he'll give him a solid test, but I think Pacheco's ready to fight for the world title after this, maybe two more max. And we expect a great crowd in Los Angeles. Thank you. Eddie, with uh, Loma and Tank probably fighting each other next, uh, and what Oscar said the other day about Cepeda potentially not fighting Shakur unless Shakur signed with Golden Boy, I don't know what to make of that exactly, but who would you like to, if Shakur were to sign with you within the lightweight division, who would you have him fight? And do you think the Cepeda fight would be made because you're both with the zone? Well, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? I mean, like, I was shocked by Oscar's comments because he talks a great game about everybody working together and making the best fights for boxing. And then kind of like the mask comes off and he says, I'll only make that fight if he signs with me. I mean, you're taking a payday away from Zapeda. You're taking a world championship opportunity away from Zapeda by not making a fight. Um, and I would expect the zone to say, no, no we, we want to do this fight. We don't care who's with who. So. Yeah, I mean, look, I can't control Oscar or Golden Boy. We do sign Shakur Stevenson, and they don't want the payday or the opportunity for Zapeda. Nothing you can do about it, but hopefully they, you know, they've got the best interest of Zapeda and boxing, and most importantly for me, the platform of the zone uh, at heart. So I do think Zapeda is the right fight for him. You know, I think he'll look good in that fight, and, and I think that would be a, a good fight to make. Come on, champ.